right, man. Thank you for coming in. What, what was your name again? Dalton. Dalton. Thanks for coming in, man. What are you getting done today? Probably get a skin fade. Okay. And then up top, some texture going on. Okay. Do you, how do you, you normally like style it over? Like yeah, usually yeah. over a little this way. Okay. So like um, so on that side, it's kind of disconnected. Yeah. And then you want like a ball fade. Like mid? Yeah. Okay, cool. And then what are you doing with, with your beard? And then beard, trim it down a little bit. And then take it a little lower on the cheek. Okay. And then pretty close to the jawline. Okay, cool. Cool. Let's do it, man. Thank you for coming in, bro. Thank you. YouTube, what is going on guys? Today we're gonna start with the top. He just wanted a little bit off, so we're just gonna trim just a little bit just to make sure we keep these uh, these flat layers here on the top, um, which helps with how the hair lays and it combs over since he does comb his hair over to the side with a disconnection on, on, on the left side, or on my left side, I should say. So we just took a section from the back and we're using that as our guide. Whatever you, whatever hair you grab moving forward, behind it you should be able to see the previous cut and that should guide you um, to help you keep an even length. Once you're done with that, you can cross check it um, and then you can move on here to the sides. And all I'm doing here, if you notice, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my um, fingers kind of squared off of his head just to make sure we can, we can build some shape up. All right, so we're starting with our initial guideline here. At the bottom, I'm going straight to my clipper close instead of using my trimmers. And my next set is going to be my blade open. This side, I know is going to be a difficult side just because I can see the, the inconsistency in, in, in density, um, especially around his hairline. But I'm going to just gauge that. I'm going to follow my system and I can gauge it as, I'm, as I move forward. All right, so once I've done the blade open all the way around, I'm going my clipper one notch open, almost halfway up, guys. All right, and as you move up, you could, you know, close, open the clipper up if you want to. What I usually do is like, a, is, is typically what I would do if I'm not recording a video, I would do one notch open all the way around and then, you know, open it little by little all the way around. Number one all the way open is my next guard. Here, there was a crazy indent right here in this area. And you'll notice how much darker it stays with this one open. So that's definitely something I'm probably gonna have to go up higher with in that area with this half guard, just to get it to match the rest of this section. Damn it, Tito. Another one? You can see this, the area I'm working in right there, it just stays dark. So we might need, even need to close um, the half guard all the way just to lighten that area up. All right, next step is a number three guard closed. Two guard open below that. All right, and two guard closed. And at this point, we're just gonna fade down. We're gonna stack our guards fading down. So the next step would be the one and a half guard open, one and a half guard closed.
Yo, and I, I've been noticing in the comment section, man, people asking where I got my clipper. I just got I got them from the Custom FX app. If you got an iPhone or any Apple product, you could download the, the Custom FX app and you can customize your clipper any color you want, pretty much. And uh, this is the color that I chose. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I, I like it. <laughs> I like it. All right. So my next guard is my number one guard all the way open. Right below where we left off with that one and a half guard. And then closed. Now notice I already faded, pretty much faded um, the bottom out. And the only line that's left to fade out is the half guard the, with the green half guard. Yours might be gray, just so you don't, you're not confused. If you're using and, this is probably the number zero guard. Um, and that pretty much finishes the fade without detailing. All right. I think on the other side, I switched it up, which I wish I didn't because the other side was definitely a harder side to fade. Um, but you guys will see how it comes out and what I mean by uh, how I how I faded it. Yeah, so if you notice on this side, I already blended out the one, the one and open. I already used the half guard. And really the last step here is the one and a half guard um, and then the one guard open. Where the last steps on the other side was the, the, the half guard. Um, so I think that, you know, again, I wish I would have stayed a little bit more consistent with the system, especially since like this area right here, this side is tough man and i felt like if i finished this cup with the half guard that tough that tough area when would have been less difficult All right, so now that the system, we've gone through the system, we'll go ahead and bald everything out, line him up. I guess on this side, I saw some imperfections that I wanted to pick up. Balding this side out as well. And obviously we gotta finish everything off with the shaver. All right, trying to keep the C cup natural guys. I think that, that came out pretty damn good. All right, so he told me he wanted a number one guard um, on his beard, and I'm just going to fade out the, the sideburn area and line it up. 
I think number one good uh, number one guard looks pretty good. All right, so I did line him up here from this angle, but that was a mistake because I think it looks good from this profile. But um, what I later found out is that he actually likes it right on his jawline. And if I do his beard line at this angle at the bottom there, I'm not going to be able to bring it up by the jawline where his chin is. So we definitely had to scratch that. And then remember, he wanted me to drop it a little bit on his cheekbone. Um, he didn't he didn't want his beard as wide so I did lower it some and this is where I made the adjustment to be closer to his jawline especially around his uh, chin as he requested which still looks good in my opinion but like if I was to do this next time I, I definitely would have done this first this bottom line before I did the top line to try to make it as symmetrical as possible so that's just a you know, a tip that you guys learned from my mistake. All right, if you guys notice, I'm slightly pulling at, at, at his um, skin just to give some, some tension and an easier, uh, easier uh, glide of the blade. And I'm combing, I'm using my comb to clear debris so I know it's a real line. Because sometimes, especially when you use shave gel or if you have ash or something, it could, it could kind of alter what the real line looks like. All right, and if you notice I'm pulling at the scalp here as well to give myself more room to use the, the shaver. Now in this area, it looked like it was just a little too dark and so I wanted to kind of spread it out a little bit. So I went in with the one and a half guard to detail it. All right guys, now we're gonna style the hair. We're gonna put some clay in there. Cause he did say he liked like kind of a textured look. And I think it's looking good, man. All right, guys. So this is the before. You can see this side definitely looked tough. This is the after. Guys, we drop content every single day. So if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. Smash the like button. See you guys tomorrow.